Hey y'all, come on into my kitchen. Have a seat at the table. We're just gonna go in straight and we're gonna learn how to make some rice. I know a lot of people don't know how to make rice. And I know you're probably saying, Trey, who doesn't know how to make rice? But you would be amazed on how many people do not know how to make rice. So I just have a small sauce pot, uh, saucepan here. Um, and I'm gonna use uh, vegetable broth. You can use water. You can use any kind of broth you like. It just so happened I'm, I had some uh, vegetable broth already in my refrigerator and I got uh, long grain rice because that's what I like. Um, if you choose to do uh, short grain, that's fine, or medium grain. I like long grain rice because it um, holds its shape better and it doesn't get mushy. And um, I'm probably going to use this rice later on just to make maybe some stir fry or some fried rice or whatever. So that's the reason why I'm using long grain. Not to mention I like it. You use what you like. This is what I like. And then I got butter. And um, so we're gonna go ahead and get started because we need to make sure our water is, um, or our liquid, I should say, is boiling um, before we add our rice. You're always going to do um, two parts liquid to one part rice. So if you're making rice for one person and you so happen to make like rice and you wanna make like a whole cup of rice, then you use two cups of liquid to one cup of rice, okay? Um, normally, I don't measure this kind of stuff. I'm just doing it for your sake. And listen, you don't have to use a measuring cup. You can, y'all heard that? It's gonna talk real soon. You don't have to use a measuring cup. You know what? If you have a, um, a little styrofoam cup, you can use that. Two of those and one, two of those with liquid and then one of those of rice you can use whatever you have. Um, like I said, I'm gonna make, um, I'm gonna make this for my um, stir fry or my fried rice. So I had, a, this was like three, it's a little bit over three cups. Um, it's like three and a third, three and a quarter cup of liquid. Cause I just wanna get rid of the box. So, um, what that tells me is that I am using, um, we're just gonna leave it at three cups of rice. We're gonna, uh, three cups of liquid. So I'm using three cups of liquid, so I'll use a cup and a half of rice. Just that simple. Once this be begins to boil, um, you can add your rice. So I'm gonna, oh, I forgot my butter. You have to flavor everything. I'm not putting any salt in this because this broth already has some salt and I just wanna be mindful of the salt. And I always use salted butter. I know that looks like a lot, but it's okay. Um, and I always use salted butter. So I don't want the um, rice to be overly salty. The vegetable broth is going to provide some um, flavor already. It's gonna add flavor, something that water would not normally add. Um, so I'm gonna go ahead and just add the vegetable broth. You can use chicken broth. If this is, if you didn't want, if you wanted this to be vegan or vegetarian, then don't add the butter. Get some plant-based butter and use that instead. They do have some of that out. I, um, although it's not really butter, it's um, plant-based margarine, I guess it's called, or um, substitute of some sort, but use what you have if you're a vegetarian or vegan um, and just go from there. I'm gonna go ahead and start pouring up my rice. And like I said, we're gonna use a cup and a half of rice because we used a cup, three cups of broth. I know it was a little bit more, it's okay. I'll, I'm gonna compensate for it, I promise you. I'm gonna add just a little bit more rice than I actually, actually, actually need. Okay, it looks like our water is beginning to boil. Now, what you also want to do is, um, once this is um, at a boil, you want to go ahead and add your rice to it. And I'm going to get my spoon out and I'm gonna add my rice. Now, what I like to do while I'm adding my rice is I like to stir my rice um, at the same time. I do not rinse my rice before I cook it. Um, you, if you want to do that, then just uh, take your rice that you're going to use, put it in a mesh strainer or a cheesecloth, rinse it out till, it, till the water runs clear, rinse it until the water runs clear, and then you're done. And then you can go ahead and use your rice. Again, I don't use 
Um, I don't rinse my rice. I don't know why. My mama didn't rinse her rice, so I'm not going to rinse my rice. So that's one cup, and then we'll do a half a cup-ish. Because I had ish of excess oil, uh, excess water left over. So that's about ish. Y'all see that? That's my ish. Cup and a half-ish. A little bit more than a cup. A little bit more than a half a cup. Now, um, I want to make sure I get all my rice out. Now, there's two ways of doing it. I could have easily put my hand in there. You don't have to do this. My mom would never leave um, an ounce of rice or anything in this cup. Um, so, I'm going to try to get it all out, too. Just trying to make her proud since I'm using her measuring cup. <laughs> okay. So, now that I've gotten it all out... I'm going to bring it back to a boil and then what you want to do is just let it simmer you want to once it once it becomes uh starts boiling i like to vent my lid once it begins to boil and the reason why i vent my lid is because um once it begins to really talk and talk a lot and that's my way of saying boiling um then it starts to spit and i don't want it to spit out all the liquid so i always leave a little gap in the um in the boiling um in the lid and then you just turn it down to about a medium and you let it go until it's done well trey how long is that i don't know just until it looks done the bag says about 20 minutes or so but sometimes depending on how much rice you have or you don't have it could be 15 it could be 25 so just in about 15 minutes just don't mess with it. Just come and lift the lid and look at it. And then we'll see where we are. Okay? Um, we'll be right. We'll come right back and, and let's take a look at it in about 20 minutes. Okay, so our rice is done. And let's take a look at it. Look how nice and fluffy our rice is. Look. Nice and fluffy, and it's it looks yellow um, because of all the um, butter that I put in it. But also, it's yellow because of the um, vegetable um, broth that I use. So I don't want you to think that it, oh my gosh, why her rice are not yellow. So this is going to be perfect. I'm going to um, cool this down. I'm going to actually put it into a bowl, and I'm going to put it in the refrigerator bring it to room temperature and then put it in the refrigerator and tomorrow I'll be able to make my fried rice. Um, so it'll be a good day. Have a great day. Thank you for coming into my kitchen. I love you all. Big hugs and tight squeeze. Till next time.